What's up everybody? Thank you for visiting me on YouTube. Today I'm on Catapa Avenue. We're going through Sunnyview, Mount Crest, and Kenworth. Bear with me as I take you through a tour of Poor Dayton. There you see it's Pepito's, the Mexican restaurant. This is Hillcrest Avenue. This is Bettman's Pharmacy. Bettman's Pharmacy used to be on Salem Avenue at Miracle Lane. They moved over here in the mid 2000s. This side of Dayton is Fairview, and the other side is Sunnyview. This is the Frock Center. This is where Senator Clinton had made her appearance. She also made an appearance at Wayne High School in Huber Heights. turning left on Fairview Avenue. about to turn on Wabash Avenue. As we proceed down Wabash Avenue, we're in the Fairview District. This part of Dayton here is near Colonel White High School. Colonel White High School is about to be demolished and they relocated most of their students over to the new Thurgood Marshall High School over on Hoover Avenue. Between Fairview, there'll be Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is a little neighborhood that is located a few miles from where I was. There's Colonel White High School. Soon, Colonel White will be demolished. This is Ridgedale Avenue. This road is a private avenue, so I can't go through that area without permission. But in the meantime, I'll still give you the guided tour through Dayton by showing you Mount Vernon. This area is Mount Vernon. The Dayton View Library sits to the right. That used to be an ordained church. We're going to turn left on Red Hall Road. As you can tell, Colonel White stands right now. For those who used to go to Colonel White, be prepared to share your memories on YouTube, MySpace, or Facebook. Now we're approaching the Santa Clara neighborhood. One out of 13 houses are condemned 
and the housing foreclosure issue is common because Dayton is the 15th in the nation for home foreclosures. This is Spouton Avenue. We approach Delaware Avenue. Over here, this is the house of a reverend who was recently killed. He was killed by one of his girlfriends. I wanna say my condolences to his family. We're leaving now to the Santa Clara neighborhood. We're gonna turn right on Wheatley Avenue. As we approach Kenworth Avenue, we turn right and we'll be in Kenworth. Most people think this is Five Oaks. This is not Five Oaks, this is the Kenworth neighborhood. This area is very reclusive. As you can tell, it's a historic district. Many people live on these, this reclusive road. As you can tell, a lot of fans are supporters of Senator Barack Obama and Senator John McCain. You'll find a mixed batch of supporters of the three candidates over here in this neighborhood. I can't proceed up this road to Salem Avenue because Salem Avenue is blocked off from this point. But the whole idea is to make this area a little more reclusive for those who are not like the people that live in Five Oaks. Of course, as I explained in the last video of Five Oaks. They put those gates up there to prevent people from causing crime. But in this part of Dayton, these gates are here to provide a comfort and safety to those who are professionals. As I proceed up Kenwood Avenue, I'll give you a few more tours of this area and give you an outlook of what I think about Dayton. This is a part of our community. I want y'all to understand it.